Hey, what's going on guys? Crimson here and today I'm going to be talking about the newest OBS update and of course I'm going to be talking about the best recording and streaming settings for all of you guys out there because I did a video a while back and it's gotten so much attention but I want to keep you guys updated so that you guys don't just stay with settings that are okay. I want to bring you guys the best settings possible. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like on it. But anyways guys, let's go straight into the video. So today I'm going to be demonstrating everything on OBS Studio just because OBS Studio is updated to support the newest NVIC encoder and if you guys don't know what that is it's basically nvidia teaming up with obs to make graphics cards geforce graphics cards at least so anything from the 6 series and up a little bit better at streaming and recording games on your pc so this is definitely a win for gamers and we're just going to jump straight into it i'm not really too sure when streamlabs is going to get the update as well but when it does i will probably be covering it but anyways looking at obs right now i'm recording with obs so everything might be a little bit different but right now looking at output you guys can see that my encoder is the end Nvidia NVEC H.264 new and of course the new one is basically something that is a lot better because now there is less transition time between you know your CPU and your graphics card and your graphics card is just keeping the frames now and it's honestly a really big upgrade a lot of people are saying that it's like equal to the x264 medium and I wouldn't push it that far I'd say that if you give it a good bit rate and stuff like that it's probably a faster or fast it's good don't get me wrong it's an improvement from the last one but it's not as good as x264 i still see some grain here and there so of course i would still recommend x264 but if you guys have a really old cpu and you have a pretty new graphics card i would definitely say go for it if you guys have like an i7 870 and then you have a 1060 use the 1060 i was getting a lot of comments in my last video comparing like old processors with new cards and all i have to say is if you have an old processor and you can't stream at all off of it try the graphics card the graphics card is probably going to work and with this new encoder it's probably going to work pretty damn well now to to make that graphics card work pretty damn well we have to go through these settings you want to select cbr which is constant bitrate and of course this means that your bitrate isn't going to fluctuate up or down it's going to stay at a constant number that you set it and the bitrate that i put is 5000 a lot of people might think this is a little too much but i honestly think this is fine 6000 is a little bit too much because that's the maximum twitch supports but if you guys are streaming at 720p and you put it to 4500 to 5000 you're going to be fine and people aren't going to be buffering and for preset we're going to go with max quality key frames we're gonna go to profile we're gonna go with high just because a lot of the games nowadays do need a, they're a little bit more faster pace like apex fortnite and everything like that so if you set it to high you're gonna be able to capture everything with a lot less grain in it because the processor already knows that you're going into a fast paced game so it's already ready to go off the get-go and now we're not gonna turn on look ahead just because we don't need it it's the thing that switches between your b frames but we're gonna be turning on psycho visual tuning which means that it's gonna optimize it so that you have a little bit better visual quality which is exactly what we want Want. for max b frames we're going to set this at two then going over to the recording tab we're going to see that this is basically a little bit interesting right here we're going to leave the format recording format mp4 audio track i have one audio track because it's all i really want to record which is my microphone and for encoder i'm still using the h264 new the new nvec encoder just because it does give out really really good quality if you give it a good amount of bitrate and of course cbr is still kept here constant bitrate and for recordings you normally want to go a lot higher in bitrate Rate because you can support it it's just getting it from your computer so 20k bitrate is pretty good 25k bitrate is the max i'd recommend you guys go preset max quality and of course profile high and for this i do have look ahead turned on just because you know i never know what i'm going to be playing when i'm recording so it's always good to just have it on max b frames i have it at two basically the same settings but just a little bit higher bitrate so that way you get more quality out of it when you record it and of course this always does work really really well with older computers and stuff like that now switching over to video video we're going to set it to a base canvas resolution of 1920 by 1080 or whatever your monitor is a lot of people have 1440p monitors and that's perfectly cool i'm still on 1920 by 1080 because i am broke and for output right now i can change it because i'm recording the video at 1080p but i would highly highly recommend that you guys switch it to 1280 to 720 just because if you're not partnered on twitch you definitely don't want to be feeding your away your internet to twitch when you don't even have any viewers i'm not trying to sound harsh but it's better to start off at 720p and the moment you get to like shrouds level start streaming at 1080p some people don't even stream at 1080p at shrouds level which is crazy but yeah for now i would recommend 720p and if you are just a quality you know freak go to 900p and that should satisfy your needs because it's in between 720p and 1080p and you can definitely tell the little nudge of quality that you're getting from going from 720p 60fps to 900p 60fps but for the most part stay at 720p 60fps downscale filter we're going to leave this at 32 samples 
common FPS value, 60 FPS, that is always the goal because it looks the best, and in advance we're going to leave the process priority to normal, and that should do it for all of you guys. Anyways guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, remember to leave a like and a comment down below. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave them down below. If you guys checked out my last video, I have been replying to every comment up to this day, just because I'm trying to help everyone out, and I would highly recommend that if you guys have any issues at all, leave a comment down below, make sure to scroll through the comments, a lot of the times people do you know ask a question and i answer it and then someone asks the exact same question so just make sure that you scroll through and you see the replies of other people but besides that hopefully you guys do have a great day if you guys are not part of the discord i will leave a link down below check it out for yourselves also i do live stream on twitch every day at 5 p.m pacific standard time and i play a lot of games I answer a bunch of questions for people so if you guys are interested in that that will also be linked down below anyways guys hope you guys have a great day and i will catch you guys next time peace guys